Hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, today is going to be awesome. We're going to put in these LED light strips in the back. Um, we're going to put some on the hatch here uh, and then some right in here in the cab so that um, whenever I want to turn them on, they'll be on the switch over here and it'll be nice and nice and easy for just having a, a shit ton of light. So um, stay tuned and thanks for watching. All right, so what we're get, what we're doing right now is um, we're gonna running this red cable all the way through to the front. Um, we did two red cables just in case I want to add something, another accessory in the back sometime later in the future. Whatever, we're only gonna use one right now, but um, we're run it under the carpet, around the wheel well, down through there. Under the trim through here, up and through here. Through there. And then you know, go to this side. Through this little grommet here, and we're gonna hardwire it to the battery. That's gonna go. Here. Then this one. So we're going to put another connector on this one, female connector, and then connect it to the switch. And hopefully that will crank it up. That'll be that. All right, so what's going on right here is that uh, we are wiring uh, another in circuit fuse or inline fuse um, to the one that we already had. I had one that was already connected for the light bar. So we're just gonna connect this one to that and then connect them both to the terminal. Um, and it should work. So we could even add one. <clears throat> All right, quick update on the video. It's the next day. Um, last night we ran into a couple problems. Our uh, connectors or light strips are wired backwards. Of course, I bought them from China, so I'm sure they're laughing about it. Um, but we uh, hardwired it to the battery last night, um, put a fuse in here, um, ran it all the way back, or it's already been back there, and then changed some other stuff. And now we've got all this does work, power to both switches, um, other accessory cord that it ran to the hatch. And then we are going to start putting up plastics, um, start tucking everything back away. And then once we get everything up, we'll stick the lights and then uh, show the finished product. All right, so we got all the plastics back in. They look good. Lights still work on the switches. They're not fully stuck yet, obviously. But we're gonna move on to this hatch. Um, right now, what we're doing is uh, we drill out a little hole here. So we'll have a strip that runs all the way down. And then we'll have one that runs on the outside that kind of beams out to the outside so
All right, so after the heat gun in the last clip, none of that adhesive stuck to anything. So they all fell off like literally a couple days later. So <clears throat> I just came in and I super glued all of them on. Um, I know what you're gonna say. You're probably gonna flame me in the comments or you know, say something <laughs> bad about it. But um, I think that was the best solution. I'm not planning on changing any of it. Um, maybe I will one day, but I'll just rip it off. Um, but they really turned out awesome. Um, they're really slum line on both sides. And then one that goes across here, which shines right now. And then this one that goes all the way around the edge to uh, shine a little bit out. So I'll show you a picture now or two pictures now of what it looks like up close and from a little far behind um, in the dark. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe. I'll be putting out another video on the platform that we did, um, all of this, how we did it, and um, all the specs and whatnot here shortly. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.